At this time, I will ask Ms. Sally Petty to come forward to introduce our keynote speaker. Good evening. From a call that has been established, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the guest speaker for this evening. Mr. Sean Brown is a highly respected motivational speaker adjunct professor, entrepreneur, and community activist who has dedicated his life to teaching, inspiring, offering hope, and empowering individuals to reach their greatest potential. Raised on the island of St. John, Sherman's passion for inspiring others to achieve their goals stemmed from his days as an inspiring performing artist. As a young man, Sean spent a significant amount of his time choreographing dances and performing for audiences throughout the Virgin Islands. Sean was one of the founding members of the group Analyze This, a local dance group that performed for various Virgin Islands showcases, including Starfest 8. After graduating from Ivani Durkin High School in 2001, Sean moved to Bronx where he enrolled in Monroe College to study business administration. While in college, Sherman served as a student tutor and mentor at a local junior high school. In 2003, he became the founding president of the Monroe College Students in Free Enterprise Team, an organization focused as improving the standards of living and quality of life for underserved communities in need. As president, Sherman spearheaded initiatives that taught concepts in market economics, financial literacy, success skills, and business ethics. In 2005, the team received national recognition and was featured on Fox News, New York One, the New York Times, and other local and national media outlets. Sherman's community's involvement landed him a job opportunity in 2004 when he was hired by the New York City Legislature to serve as an intergovernmental and community liaison. Shortly after his arrival, Sherman was elevated to the highest senior position in the office, Chief of Staff. In 2007, Sherman was unanimously appointed Acting Deputy Chief Clerk by the Commissioners of the New York City Board of Elections to oversee the restructuring of the Bronx Division. During his tenure, Sherman expanded voting registration efforts throughout the borough. Eventually, Sherman was asked to return to the New York City Council to serve as a senior policy and budget advisor. In this capacity, Sherman served secure over $60 million for the borough of the Bronx to improve vital social programs and services. After working with some of New York City's most influential elected officials, Sherman decided to take his passion for public service further by starting his own consulting firm, Global Integrated Strategies, GIS. GIS is a social enterprise that uses its market-based consulting services approach to bring positive social change to clients and communities that it serves. Sherman advises small businesses, nonprofits, grassroots, and political organizations on how to develop and implement effective strategies to achieve their desired goals. Sherman is an adjunct professor at Monroe College where he teaches courses in business, criminal justice, and the liberal arts. Sherman holds a bachelor, bachelor's degree in business administration from Monroe College and a master's degree in public administration from New York City University. Ladies and gentlemen, our commencement speaker, Mr. Sherman Brown.
be able to be able to stand here today to serve as a commencement speaker. Now, as they said in my introduction, I get the opportunity all the time to speak to students. But for me today, it's very, very personal. And it's personal because of the fact that it was just about 10 years ago with some of my colleagues who were in the back in the class of 2001. We were sitting in these same exact seats. And I know the feelings that you get sometimes when you think about graduation. There's anxiety because you sometimes are concerned about where am I going to go. There's great excitement because you see the big accomplishment you have made. But more importantly, it's important that we always show gratitude. And I'm going to do something a little unorthodox right now. Class of 2011, I'm going to ask you to stand. And what I want you to do right now, because we have to understand that their graduation today is not only a testament to their accomplishment, but to the families and the loved ones who are out here. So I want you to just look in the direction where every family member is and give them the biggest round of applause. Thank you. Remember who my graduation speaker was back in 2001. 
this moment, I still can't remember. <laughs> and even if you never remember my name, I want you to remember these last few words. As the world turns, you will all go through the pain and struggle, but still struggle with the hope of being successful tomorrow. Some thought you wouldn't make it, but they were sadly mistaken. Your journey's just begun and you're quickly accelerating to higher heights, because your vision's beyond sight. So bright that you are blinded by the light. You're so shining stars, and you are doing your thing. Graduating.